Hello, I'm Ross DeMattei right now with your 13 Action News Update. Governor Steve Sisolak says the state of Nevada will be heading into phase two starting this Friday. So what exactly is that going to look like? Well, here's a list of what will be reopening under phase two. Places like pools, water parks, bars, massage parlors, gyms, movie theaters, bowling alleys and indoor malls. But the governor says strict social distancing is required, a minimum of six feet at all of those places. The governor says Nevada will welcome back visitors starting on June 4th, which is the same day when gaming establishments will begin a phased reopening. Today is already the hottest day of 2020, and to help deal with this triple-digit heat, several cooling stations are now open across the valley. But you can't just show up. There are several new precautionary measures, including screening, social distancing, and wearing a mask. There are now four locations open throughout the valley, two here in Las Vegas, one in Henderson, and the fourth is in Mesquite. The Oakland Athletics, the Major League Baseball affiliate of the Las Vegas Aviators, have announced they will stop paying minor league players. Right now, those minor leaguers get a weekly stipend of $400 a week, but that will stop on May 31st. In a letter from Oakland's GM, he said that this does not mean the players are free agents and they are not allowed to sign with other teams. The Athletics are also cutting salaries and furloughing some employees. The hottest day so far in 2020 temperatures today expected to land just a degree shy of the standing record of 108 degrees. It looks like we'll remain in the triple digits through dinner time as well, even after the sun sets by 10 or so. We're dropping to the low 90s. Overnight lows will fall to the upper 70s ahead of your Thursday morning with near record highs expected again Thursday and Friday. The excessive heat warning continues through Friday night with plenty of sunshine. 108 the forecast high for Thursday will drop a few degrees this weekend, but low 100s expected through at least Sunday. All right, Danny, thanks. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. Thanks so much for making 13 Action News a part of your Wednesday.